What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. Today we're going to do something a little different and we're going to talk about plectrums or in layman term guitar picks and the five picks or plectrums that every guitar player should have in their arsenal. Now oddly enough I get a lot of questions about what picks I use. And I guess that's because a lot of you see in the videos I'm always using something different. So I wanted to share the picks that I use and what I feel that every guitar player should have in their little holster, pull out for the right moment in time. So let's get started. So the first pick I'm gonna talk about is the Jazz 3. The small little Jazz 3. This pick was bestowed upon me when I first started playing guitar by the Metal Gods. It was here, Greg. Shred on, my friend. It's small. It's built for speed. It's built for attack. And that's the main advantages of it. You keep, you're allowed to keep your hands close to the string, and it's really made for some nice picking. And, it's, and of course, you're gonna get that good attack. So this is one pick. It's not the standard pick, and not everybody likes it because of its size. But I'm mentioning this one first because this is what I started with, so it's dear to my heart. The second pick that everybody should have in their arsenal is the standard. Standard size pick, right? They come in um, different thicknesses. Now for this one, they should be around anywhere from 0.9 to 1 or even a little heavier depending on your personal preference. And this is the standard. They come in a, a multitude of different textures and feels as you play. But what the bottom line is, is the thickness and I guess the material. Because again, it's going to give you a, a nice strong attack and a certain tone that when you play. So everyone's got this, nothing special here, right? But everyone's got this. I dig, I'm really digging these, uh, the Dunlop Altex picks. Great, really comfortable. This is kind of what I use all the time now. The third pick that everybody should have in their arsenal is the same standard, but a thin version of it. And it's usually about maybe 73 millimeters or even a little lighter or slightly heavier. But the, the fact is you want it to be a little bendy, a little flexible, because that's gonna go a long way in creating the tone that you want, right? So if you're playing an acoustic or a part that has a lot of strumming in it, or you're going for maybe a strat kind of sound, not a very metal or hard aggressive tone, I would definitely go with the standard size pick. So it's a standard, but just a little thin, real flexible. I know a lot of guys are comfortable. Personally, I don't like playing any hard rock or metal with this pick because the attack isn't there. I feel like I'm just slushing through the strings. No, no bueno. But for an acoustic, for any strumming parts, any softer attack, it's good to have and whip out when I need that tone. The fourth kind of pick is the specialty pick. What do I mean by specialty? There are a ton of picks out there. For instance, this one from Huffman. It's a drop attack. It's very big, it's very thick. I love using these for recording or for practicing. And I actually have another video out where I talk about why I like to use this for practicing. But this is big, it's easy to hold on to. It, I don't grip it as hard, right? And it's got a really sharp attack. And Huffman actually makes a variety of different materials and they I can't even hold on to it and they have a variety of different materials like this one it's a different material but just as big just as thick same shape the drop attack you can see how how thick it is like I said for dynamic purposes it's really nice all right and depending on the tone if you're detuned on a really low string or low tuning something like this is great to help bring out that sharp attack in what you're doing um, he also makes a standard style Jazz 3, but just a little bigger, that kind of vibe, which is really good. Um, I've tried these picks out from Sick Picks, right? Fantastic for shred. If you're doing nothing but alternate pick, shred, these picks are fantastic. Now, the minute you start strumming some chords, kind of grabs, it's not the best onto, but again, specialty, use the tool, use the right tool for the job kind of thing. The fifth pick I want to talk about that everyone should have in the arsenal is your hands. Finger style. 
you should be able to finger style and play with your fingers on the guitar. You get a certain tone, right? You get a certain spacing between the strings and new picking patterns that you might not be able to pick through all the time. Or even uh, a hybrid picking, right? Where you're holding the pick with your, as you normally would and then using some extra fingers to pluck some notes out. Really get great for some clean intervallic licks. You should be able to do that. Plus all the chicks really dig it. So there you go. Five picks that every guitar player should have in your arsenal. Everybody is different. Everybody has a go-to pick. I would love to hear what yours are. Leave it down in the comments below. Anything that I missed out on or that I, you think I should try. Okay, so as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.